Hi everybody, Linda Carroll here from my studio, Gatherer of Great Things, and it's another Magical Monday. I hope everybody's doing well and uh, ready to do some kind of magical, mystical collage art today. Um, if you saw my uh, video from earlier in the week, I did this um, challenge online uh, the fodder challenge to create a paper doll from your collage fodder or bits and pieces that you have that you've created or saved and um, this is what I came up with and I it was so funny because I had been working on a set of paper doll uh, or collage doll pieces and all of a sudden this um, this challenge came out. Anyway, I want to show you my sh the sheets that I've developed and we're, this is what we're going to work on uh, today and um, it's a it's a fairly large kit. There's five p sheets of um, collage doll pieces in here and I'll go through these and I think they're a lot of fun. You know I love vintage papers and um, vintage clothing and just vintage pretty much everything so this particular set has pieces in it from the 1920s basically the clothing is from the 20s the shoes are from the 20s the pottery the china is from the 20s so that's kind of the vibe of this particular set of course you can mix and match and do with it whatever you would like but this is the first page and it comes with some clothing this is the summer hot weather clothing that I've included in the kit there are a number of different size legs arms shoes that you can use this page has some uh, sayings from that particular time period <laughs> and uh, China this is face powder um, and there are keys throughout and hearts throughout so this is page one this is page two and this has a number of different faces size faces um, styles of faces a number of different colors and sizes of legs more arms there are some additional pieces down here from the 20s a microphone a telephone a lamp um, lots of fun pieces to work with this is a hat I tried to fit as much on a page as I could and this is page three and this has the cooler uh, pieces of clothing on it and it also has more legs shoes radio um, more vases and coffee pots and a clock and some playing cards from that um, time period and we're just gonna cut these up and create a uh, wonky magical collage and this is where the wonkiness comes in <laughs> just like in my um where did i put them my little deary here i used um a deer head in place of the woman's head on this particular piece and i've included in this kit different heads that you can use there's dog heads this is an apex peacock woodpecker uh, there are butterflies for wings if you would like to add them there are chicken feet um, this is a smaller apex legs there's a muscular person here with their muscle system showing and then this is the last page and this has basically hats hair glasses and a lot of different size glasses and then the kitten and the bunny rabbit to use in k instead of the faces and i did add this other face on here with the hat 
So I think these are going to be a lot of fun to work with. Um, I've already cut out most of my pieces, but I cut them out of my test papers uh, that I printed on regular copy paper. This one's printed on copy paper, and this one is printed on the um, photo matte photo paper, the heavier stock. And you can see the colors are, are pretty close. These, these are a little bit brighter. But I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting out my pieces, and then we will get started on, on a collage today. So if you're new to my channel, um, today's Magical Monday, and we do kind of surreal, magic realism uh, pieces of artwork from collage, mixed media, and... Um, and if you haven't joined my channel, please do hit the subscribe button. And um, if you like what you see, I'd like to see a thumbs up. It really does help to get my videos out there. And also, if you want to be notified about when my videos come up on YouTube, just um, hit that bell icon and it'll let you know. So I will be right back with all my pieces cut out and we'll get started on a collage. Okay, I have everything cut out and I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> I started picking up some pieces and I forgot to turn the camera back on. Anyway, um, this is the direction I'm going with in this particular uh, collage. I have all my pieces cut out and in my a little plastic container here and I am using the just the pieces that were printed out on copy paper so and I'm you know I just started playing and I had this bird if you remember this bird here that I wanted to use in the last collage I just couldn't work it in and look at these colors with this dress it's just perfect so it's like it has to go in here and as I was putting it on the paper I don't know if you ever saw the um, Sex in the City movie when, um, oh gosh, what was her name? Um, the, the lead journalist, vlogger, writer, whatever, got married and she had this bird stuck on the side of her head. <laughs> and I thought, oh, this is perfect. It's so oversized and so outlandish that I just love it. And so I had to pick this dress out of the ones that uh, I had choices of. And this face, I thought she's, she's just perfect. So I decided to use the red legs um, to kind of pick up the red in here. Actually, at first I had another, um, another hat on her head. Um, I think I had this one on her head and I put it on wonky. I didn't really put it on the way it belonged um, But I decided I like the blue one better But you know you can just play with these pieces just like we used to play with paper dolls when we were we were children and I had this bird left over from one of my other collages and those colors worked really well and I, I wanted her to be standing on something, and I still had some of these books um, left over from another collage. And then I found this piece off of the lizard's tail, and I wanted to start layering. And I thought, well, that piece fits perfectly right there. 
and so I just I just started to to play and to see what you know what would work in here and what wouldn't I put the bird um, in her hand I could put this hourglass um, in her hand as well there's I mean there's lots of things you can do and then I put these glasses on her and they fit so perfectly on her nose I thought well that's wild so <laughs> I really like that and I thought well maybe this little bird can be down here sitting on this hand but then that's too that got too busy there so I picked that up and this arm is actually a uh, I think it's actually a left arm but it just works so perfectly there so maybe down here so you know what you do is you just you just play with the pieces that you have um, here's the house from the Baba Yaga Vasilisa story um, she could be standing on that or standing on the porch or standing on part of the roof instead of the books um, just take out your pieces and just you know just start playing with them because that's what it's all about just having fun and I thought well you know usually when I do this kind of collage I put a border around it I think I like the books better than the better than the house and you may make her legs as long as you want or not <laughs> You know, I kind of made these day dresses that they're in. Um, let's see, I have some seashells up here that could be laying around. Um, I have a light bulb from the flamingo um, collage that we worked on. You know, she, she could be holding that in her hand as well. You know, so I'm just gonna play with these and have have some fun with these because I think they're just great. And um, I I mean I'm kind of sound like I'm tooting my own horn, but I just think they're just so much fun. You know, here's this here's this um, peacock that could just be kind of running around here could be sitting on this book down here I don't know you can just you know you can just play it's it's magical it is you know it's it's surreal it's not something that it's like out of a dream to me it's what it's like it's out of a dream and um or out of one of my dreams anyway and I'm sure you have those kind of dreams, too. Um, you know, I had cut out this dress a while ago, uh, and I was going to use it in another collage. It could just as easily go in this one, you know. So keep your pieces around you because they will inspire you, okay? And, um, you know, this is something I could sit and, and do all day and i probably will <laughs> just pulling pieces that i have pulling pieces out of the um my little box here that i have all these pieces in uh, i have another house here another different kind of house that could go back here in the background um Maybe this house has wings. Maybe it can fly. And maybe it, it should be flying around. Maybe it doesn't have to sit anywhere. It can be flying around in the in the um in the background. So I'm gonna start gluing this this down and see what we can come up with because 
you know, it is Magical Monday and anything can happen. Really, anything. So, I think I'm going to start with my books. And I want her to kind of be dancing a little bit. So, I'm going to use all of these books. I'm not going to use my uh, Distress inks today around the outside edges. Because I'm going to do something else with this particular collage. So, I'm going to kind of center these books here. And I really like the position of her, of her feet. I think I'm going to put them on this edge down here. So, so what are you all dreaming about these days? Are you dreaming about being able to travel again, um, possibly this year? I found myself um, looking at cruise schedules <laughs> this morning. Although I know I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that yet. Although I'd love to. We kind of made a pact this year that we were going to work on the house and not, not travel, even though we weren't able to travel last year. Okay. And I want to make sure I have enough room up here at the top to get her head and her hat and everything in. I don't worry about necks. <laughs> I want the face as big as I can get it. And since she has a hat on, I think I'm going to cut this hair I tilt her head just a little bit she may not need any on the other side I don't know love this bird. I want to make sure I can get his beak in. So I'm going to move the dress down, down a little bit and I'm just going to glue it down the center because I want to make sure I get her, get her arms in there. Now, I didn't put a background in this one because I'm going to do something I used to do a lot of. I'm going to use my pan pastels and um, my color pencils to work with the, with the background. So it's going to be it's going to be a little bit different from what I have been doing using a, you know, using a solid background. But you can, you know, you can still do that. You can, you can work with um, a background, any background. You can use a background from another uh, collage set or 
Um, oh, I love that. Okay. Or you can work the way I'm working. Remember to look at your edges. You know, you want to really be careful with your edges and make sure that you have things line up because that kind of brings your, you know, it makes it look like the pieces go together when you're doing this kind of, of collage. bit added texture I think I like I could have cut this edge off here there we go. and I'm happy with the hair there So did anybody do the do the fodder challenge? The um the paper dolls. I'm gonna do one more. I think I'm gonna do one more section of that. I wanna do the um, master sheet. Because I have a lot of stuff just hanging around here that I want to use up. Okay, let's see how much my bird covers up here. I think that's it. If you're on Instagram, go if you go in and uh, type in hashtag uh, fodder challenge. I, I'm amazed at the number of things show up. It's really kind of neat. I think I'm finally getting the knack of Instagram. <laughs> it's, it's all new to me. So, okay, now my question is, do I want to put her arm here? and have the bird that way so I don't have any distracting pieces there. Will her glasses go on then? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's go ahead and glue this one down. I think one reason I'm I was inspired to do this is I went back and I looked at my video of my um my art journal flip through when I first started this this uh, state channel and I'm really I'm missing doing my dancing divas <laughs> so I think this may be my new 
my new edition of, of my Dancing Divas because I love I love doing those I'll put a link to um, to that video I I was doing collages like the ones I did in my art journal but I got complaints about how long the videos were you know and I guess people thought they were boring so I stopped doing that style of collage on my channel but I'm you know I really miss doing it so this is similar but not the same all right I think I'm gonna cut her inside frames out on these glasses. Carrie. Carrie is the name of that. Oh, they're perfect. Yay! Carrie was the name of the, um, Oh, I broke it. Too heavy handed. Let's see if we can salvage it. Okay, and this peacock here, you know what I have? I have peacock feathers. Yeah, and a cat. Oh, cool that'll work like it I originally have this head so you can replace the head on the dress too um, This one I didn't make too wonky. Okay, now what am I gonna put in her hand? The light bulb? The other bird? I really like the bird. Let's see if I can lift up.
All right, we're getting there. And I need this house flying around. I can actually put that in the foreground somehow. in half put that there see what else do we have I have all these butterflies from the uh, the Baba Yaga thing that I haven't done I haven't used Usually when I do um, this type of collage, I put a border around it. So, I really like this.
It just came into my mind as that song, Feed the Birds, Tuppence a Bag from My Fair Lady. I think it's from My Fair Lady. <laughs> All right, let's get these um, butterflies. Okay, what else do we have? We can put in here. I think that's too outstanding. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't like that great big green area there. It needs to be broken up some. have an arm reaching in here. Or what if this house had arms? What if this house had a head? Oh yes. All right, now we're getting there. Let's see. Let's find some arms we can use here. Can be coming out of the front. Or got lots of different arms. Be coming out of the side.
a good place. Okay, I'm probably going to add these later um, because I think what what is happening is uh, there's with all these butterflies and everything, and with the <clears throat> with the watch and the hourglass, I think it's a time is flying, which it is, <laughs> and and um, I wanted to show you what I do next uh, with this um, type of collage. And I don't know that I'm going to put a border on this one since we have so much happening here in the, in the center. But my next step would be to use pan pastels. And I've got a number of colors. It's just a matter of choosing which direction I want to go. This blue is is one of the best background colors that um, that I have. But I think there might be too much blue in this already. And I have a green that might work. And I also have a red that might work. Let's see, I'm gonna put these over here. Let's try, let's try the red, see if I like it. Um, to apply these, I use these little makeup sponges. And let's see what happens, let's see. Let's see. Do I want to put it right on here now? I don't think I do. Let me try it around this. It's pretty intense. It might be too... <clears throat> too too much for this one, I think. <clears throat> Let's try the green. Green is not as intense. But is, is it going to make... The stuff in the background not stand out enough. Let's try the blue. Just... Just in case, that might be the one that would be the perfect one. I'm just looking for a little scrap paper.
I mean, this is super intense. Like the red is. Mm. Oops, I think I'm going to use the blue. Now, these are, you know, these are just like regular pastels. Um, and you can work with them like pastels, but I just kind of use them for a, a quick way to fill in my backgrounds. And it, it, it's a soft um, and not solid um, medium. And usually if you just uh, wipe it with your finger, it'll set it. So... And this does take a long time to, to do. But if you don't start out with a background, now I could have left this cream color. Um, so my glue is around my butterfly. I could have left this cream color and it would have been okay, but I like a more solid background color with color. Okay, once I do that, then I take my color pencils, if I can find them, I take a little bit darker pencil, <clears throat> and this is a Prismacolor, and then I go in round my artwork and just I make it darker next to the image and as I get into the center I pick up on the pencil and it'll make it lighter as I go away from the image And usually I make that area a little bit wider on one side than the other to give it a little bit more dimension. And if I think it's too dark, I can always go in and um, and pick it up some. I can rub it off just like working with pastel, or I can go in with a an eraser and pick it up. I don't want to do that. You can also go in with a blending, um, the cardboard blending stops, and blend it that way. But I'm going to go ahead and do the background, and then I'll be back to finish this up. Okay? See you soon. Okay, I finished all of my, uh, what I call shading, around my images. And now I'm just going in with color pencils and kind of touching up areas um, where I see some white showing and I don't I don't like that so I go in with a color that is um, similar to the background color 
that I'm working on to blend in the white lines and also I work on a little bit of shading behind like the arm here to make the arm stand out away from the house so and I just kind of make it blend into the whatever the background is that I'm working with like this house I've chosen um, a brown I'm not sure what color brown but you know it's blending in really well with the colors in the in the background so and also giving me a little bit of shading so I have a, a little bit more depth in my in my collage so between the layering and the shading with the color pencils uh, I have a pretty good I think um, getting to be a finished piece here you know and you can you can work on this as much as you want you can add I might go in and add some um, white to the uh, whites of the eyes Let's see here I have I, I bought these new gel pens from Arteza or Arteza and I haven't really tried them yet so not real sure but let's see ah, it's good it's really white light really light white let's see if i want to add a little touch here and in my little bird's eye too i like that a lot i used to um put a lot of dots in my collages I like dots and I really like this white pen it's really bright okay so I think um, it's just a matter right now of doing a little bit of touch up here and there like around the glasses here the frames of the glasses a little bit okay and I might want to put a little bit more um, pink on her cheeks to make those stand out some more. Just a little bit of a highlight. And I think on this one too. Maybe on her lips. That brightens her up a little bit. Okay. And I think that that is just about 
you know, I can be real piddly with this all day to make sure that I have every little thing perfect. Um, which I'll probably do for a while longer. But I really like the way this turned out. And I think I'm probably going to work on this. At least work with my collage dolls for a while. Because I really enjoyed the... Um, I really enjoyed the challenges and I really enjoyed the outcome. So, um, a couple of things I wanted to point out to you. I did cut the arm so I could bend the elbow and that's really easy to do. I did put some uh, little cap sleeves on her by cutting out on another the roof on another uh, house and put those on top of her arms um, what else did I do that was I think that was about it I cut off I trimmed my peacock tail down here and that worked out really well but I think basically I'm just about done except for a couple touch-ups and if I had used my um, distress ink around these edges, I wouldn't really have to do these touch-ups at all. But I really wanted to do the shading on the outside of these, these, this figure in this particular collage. And I really like the way it turned out. Um, you might want to go in and play more with your markers, um, you know, add some more white where you think, uh, it would just help the, the image. Like that really makes that image pop now. I really like that. So, and you, you can play doodle doodle in the background if you want um, just have fun enjoy yourself and have fun so I think I'm gonna call it a day I hope you enjoyed that and um, I hope that you will find some images to play with and work with some collage art dolls or paper dolls, whichever you want to call them, and um, make some magical wonky collages with them. <laughs> They're really a lot of fun. Okay. I wish you all many blessings, and I hope to see you all again really soon. Bye for now.